All right. I've gone through your computer's browser history, and you seem to have a type. Oh, that texture, man. Already. Wow. Just like... Absolutely crazy, man. He is so good. I love his style so much. Um, yeah, so this track here, right from the get-go, man, as soon as I heard that build-up initially, very, very short build-up, actually, to get to the point, you know, that's always uh, something great when you can come with, with something so crazy, uh, so impactful, with the setup time kept to a very minimum. Uh, I don't know if he did any, like, pre-recording before he started uh, the filming of the video, but, yeah, the build-up was very, very short, the setup, rather. I love that. Um, but the very first bass line that he had, the texture of that bass was so nasty. And at that exact moment, I knew this was crazy. Um, this was going to be crazy. So many different drops. So many high points in this round. Uh, routine in particular that he chose to go with. Perfect battle round. Uh, perfect execution. Uh, I don't know what else more I can say, man. Classic Leonard. He's just so good at what he does. He has so much energy that he brings to every routine that he has. And... This routine in here, 
particular was one of the best that I've heard from him. Um, it would have been crazy to see this one on the live stage. Oh my god. Mind blown. Kind of speechless right now. <laughs> wow, dude. Uh, how many drops was that, guys? Like, go back and count. I think that was at least four or five different unique drops in there. Every single one of them. Absolutely crazy. Wanted to stand up earlier than I did, but I just felt like something more impactful was coming, so I kind of remained hesitant because I didn't want to have to stand up like three or four times. I should have, as I very well could have, but yeah, there comes a point in time where you just can't hold it in anymore. So anyway, I love Leonard's style. He's one of my favorite loopers in the scene, one of my favorite German loopers for sure. And yeah, Lucy is going to have to come in with something with equal energy, I think, or something that's equally as impressive and intense as this was for uh, Leonard. So this one's going to be tough to beat. Let's see what Rusi came in with.
And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why Rusi is my favorite looper of all time and has been for a very, very long time. He is the most creative and crazy loop stacer in the entire scene period. I don't care what anyone else says. I don't care about their opinions. Okay, well, I care about your opinions, but in my opinion, he is the craziest looper, the most creative looper in the entire scene, and this is exactly why. This is probably my favorite routine I've heard from Rusi, and that says a lot because he is my favorite loop station artist. I've been listening to him for years. I've been following him and everything that he does, and what else can I say? This one was the most impressive routine, most creative and innovative, again, innovative routine that I've heard from Rusi, uh, for sure. And like I said, man, Leonard came in really strong, like very, very strong, very powerful, uh, very impactful battle routine. And I said that Rusi needs to come in with something as good uh, in energy wise, in um, intensity, in like a battle kind of esque format, and he did exactly what I need he needed to do, and more. I think honestly, um, yeah. This is also at the same time probably one of the most clean. It, I think it's the clean, most cleanest routine that I've ever heard from Rusi as well. Um, obviously, he's very very talented. Um, Sometimes when you watch him, uh, you can kind of pick apart a couple things in terms of like the sound design and whatnot. This one was uh, flawless in pretty much every regard in terms of like the sound design and like the looping in general. It sounded like a track that was made um, through like a program, honestly, uh, like through the computer. It didn't sound like a loop track at all. It was that clean and that like flawless in a transition and everything uh yeah he is so talented and this one was at the next level like next level Rusi, i think for sure so with that being said uh i don't see a world where they wouldn't give it to Rusi here i just think it was that good uh don't get me wrong leonard was very 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 good but Rusi was just that next level I think here in this battle in particular with that routine compared to Leonard's and you know that just says a lot because again Leonard came in really really powerful with with a haymaker punch from the get-go but Rusi he just got right back up and laid Leonard out I think <laughs> love Leonard man he is so good as well <laughs> like it hurts me to say it but I think I think uh Rusi yeah, Rusi won this battle for me, I think, in particular. Um, this is up to the uh, the audience, and I know that Japan has a massive following. Rusi has a massive following from Japan as well. So, just because of how good he was, he'd get enough votes anyway to begin, even if it wasn't like as his round wasn't as good as it uh, actually turned out to be. Um, but with that being said, I just think he gets that extra boost just because of how crazy that routine actually was so anyway guys if you enjoyed these videos go check out the links in the description go check out the individual artist uh that is so important guys um just because it is hosted on swiss beatbox um these guys still deserve recognition for their own channels i know that swiss adds their link to their channel at the end of the videos which is awesome but i'm gonna say it again uh, go check out these guys individually i'll put the links in the description for you guys so you don't have to look it up so if you want to support me though, you can leave a like on this video. You can sub to the channel. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next Beatbox Reaction video.